You see, in 1993, during the 25th anniversary of the Martin Luther King Center in Atlanta, Mrs. Coretta Scott King presented our founder, Father Frank Carr, with the Center's Salute to Greatness Award for helping to carry Dr. King's legacy. You see, others to receive that award has been Hillary Clinton, Oprah Winfrey, Maya Angelou, Ted Kennedy, and Frank Carr. So understand the real legacy of what came out of that meeting in March in Washington. The award sits in my office as a reminder of leaders like Frank Carr, but also like Maria Morris. And I want to thank her for being there where we are and helping us today. Tonight, I present to you the legacy of the dream on behalf of our founder, the dreamer. We recognize a leader that exemplifies that vision has been fulfilled. It is my honor and my pleasure to present En-ROADS 2013 Visionary Leadership Award to Maria Morris. Maria. Thank you so much, Forrest. I couldn't look at you either. <clears throat> I am actually very um, humbled to be standing in front of you for very many reasons. The first is to be associated with an organization like Inroads um, really puts the level of satisfaction in life for me at another level. It's an organization that has a mission that is just um, really what we need to be doing in life but it's also an organization that's doing it and growing and being progressive about what it means to really bring together corporate America and underserved youth to be able to develop talented people and give them opportunities to grow and shine and giving talented corporations the opportunity to have the diversity and inclusion and the type of leaders that really will take us into the next century. And from my perspective, in these unprecedented economic times, this is what we need to be doing. Inroads to deliver the talented, underserved youth to be giving the opportunities, the development opportunities, and, and really preparing people to be able to grow and develop in a corporation. And for the corporations to have the type of diversity and inclusion focus, to understand the power of having different types of people with different backgrounds, and different ways of thinking to be able to help corporate America, governments, nonprofits grow in the future. So I have to say, I, I want to thank UTC and also congratulate UTC. I think you share what MetLife shares, which is a real understanding of the power of inroads. And what you've done is truly, um, I'd say, one of the best practices out there with over 3,000 interns over the, choice, the, the course of your relationship but also the legacy that people that you, we heard from, William and Curtis, have not only for your corporation, but for other inroads to come and other inroads alum. And I say congratulations to the two of you and congratulations to UTC. I also want to thank MetLife uh, for giving me the opportunity to represent my great company on the inroads board. I actually joined the board about six years ago. I've been the chair for about three and a half years. And actually, when I first joined, um, I was very excited about it because my personal passion is to work with young people who have talent and connect them to the future. What I probably didn't recognize uh, when joining the board was just the unbelievable level of commitment of the staff, the passion of Forrest, the passion of the team here that you've met, but also the unbelievable commitment of the corporations that also are the other part of this partnership. And I have come to have a true respect for the people in this room, certainly my MetLife colleagues, but also the other corporations that are here that actually are committed not just to getting diverse talent into the organization, but to building communities, building leaders, breaking the code about what's possible for people. And so for all of you corporations in the room, I want to say thank you. It means a lot to Inroads to have the kind of respect 
and the talent in this room that's going to take us to the next level. Like Beth, I have to brag a little bit about my company, um, MetLife. Um, I'm proud to be a, a MetLifer. I've been with MetLife for 28 years. I'm probably similar to the inroaders in this room, being a woman professional, um, being in the C-suite, one of two women on our C-suite. And MetLife is the kind of company that invests in the development of people. We've had, from an inroads perspective, over 2,000 interns uh, since 1990 when we first started this relationship. And similar to UTC, started with eight interns, and it's grown into you know, many years, hundreds of interns, to the point where we now have me and I rise with over 100 people, inroads alumni, that every day are giving back to their community, giving back to the development of other young leaders in our organization, and really are serving as a way to attract and retain new diverse talent because they know the commitment that MetLife has to inroaders and to diverse talent moving up into the organization. And I also just want to thank Daryl uh, and Gina for representing our iRISE organization. Um, Daryl I know quite well. I had responsibility for technology and operations at MetLife. And Daryl is one of our best senior infrastructure executives. He's phenomenal and he's always behind the scenes. And I just think that Inroads gave him the courage to get up here tonight to do public speaking, which he does not do. <laughs> but I hope what you did hear about iRISE uh, was something very important, which was that this was led by our young leaders. And I think that's one of the powers of Inroads, that we give people the confidence and the skills and the development to be able to lead. They lead in their daily lives, they lead in their communities, and like the iRISE leaders, they're leading in their corporations. iRISE is about people giving back to each other. And at the end of the day, Frank Carr's mission was to develop communities, and the kind of community that I think MetLife and, and Inroads have developed with me and now iRISE is really a testament to that. Starting out with bringing together Inroaders to network and really be connections for each other and give each other the confidence to continue to develop at MetLife. But to the point now where it's such a success that it's actually the best practice for all of our young leaders, the best practice for developing young people as they move forward, I think is a testament to what Inroads actually built. You know, Frank Carr took a vision to take poor young people out of the ghettos. You saw the words, right? He came back and said, we can do something here. And today, and I think Curtis said this, we still need to do something. We are not there yet. We will be there when we have people who feel like they can get anywhere they want to go. And when we have the level of representation across our organizations where people can say, I see a person like me. I know I can get there. And so it really has been very much my honor to be part of this organization and to serve with a board that is unbelievable. And I should just spend a couple minutes on this board because really this award is as much about the board as it is about anybody else. The Inroads Board, the national board, is now 30 people strong. It is C-suite members of major corporations and nonprofit organizations. These people give not just to come as a corporate executive. They give of their personal time, they give of their background, they give of their contacts, and they give financially. As you may know, we are just completing a $3 million leadership campaign over a three-year period, and the board was intricately involved in making that happen, and intricately involved in the in-kind type of contributions that are given regularly just to ensure that this very small nonprofit, 95 people strong, can deliver the kind of results that we just talked about, touching over 150,000 people over the tenure of the relationship. So I would just say this board, uh, thank you. We've got a number of our board members here for your leadership, for your resilience, for your fiscal responsibility during one of the toughest, unprecedented economic times in our history. And just for those of the, uh, you that don't know, over 90% of our revenue of inroads came from corporate sponsorships for internships. What happened in 2008? Corporations cut way back in terms of delivering for interns. So what we had to do was diversify that revenue stream and the board stepped right up to start philanthropic giving, get out to foundations, get out to pers people to just really help them understand that this mission is bigger than just getting 
$4,000 an intern from corporations. And I'm really proud to say that this board has built with Forrest and the management team an organization that is both. It's about the community, and it's about giving diverse talent and growing diverse talent in corporations, which is why I believe that this organization will not only be here in 40 years, but it will be the top, as it is today, in the industry of bringing diverse talent into corporate America. It's truly my pleasure. <laughs> it's truly my pleasure to share this uh, with everybody in this room. And specifically, it's truly my pleasure to share it with my MetLife colleagues who are here to support us. Because at the end of the day, we make this happen. And I just have one ask of you, which is if you believe what we are doing is appropriate and right, then please give. And I'm not just talking money. I'm talking your time. I'm talking your focus. I'm talking all of your connections to be able to continue to build what we've built here today. So thank you very much. This has been an incredible year at Inroads because of what you see up on the stage, but also in the students. And I know we have a, a couple of students here tonight. They're in between classes, but if they're here, uh, any of our students here tonight, would you please stand? We're not talking about 100. We're just talking about one or two, or even maybe one still left. <laughs> the rest of them are going to class. Let's give her a big hand. All right. um, last year, we kicked off the leadership campaign in the public phase, and tonight, Thanks to your continued generosity, we just might reach the $3 million that we started out with. But now, please welcome a friend of Inroads up here on the stage and a special guest to make a presentation on behalf of MetLife, the president of MetLife Foundation, Dennis White. Thank you, Paris. Thank you. Um, uh, it's a tough act to follow here, but, but I'll try. Um, first, I'd like to congratulate my colleagues at MetLife. Maria, congratulations on that great award, much deserved. Maria is a, a valued member of the MetLife Foundation Board in addition to all her other responsibilities, so thanks for your work there. And thanks to my other colleagues, congratulations uh, to the uh, members and supporters of the alumni, uh, MetLife Alumni Inroads Network and the IRISE. So it sounds like great work ahead, and, and thank you and congratulations. Uh, across MetLife, we share a commitment to Inroads' uh, mission of uh, developing and sustaining diverse talent uh, to take leadership roles in corporations and in our communities. Uh, last year, we were fortunate enough to make a contribution to the leadership campaign on Founders Day for $200,000 to support the. Uh, <laughs> to support some of the coaching activities, and we we're very happy to do that. And this year, we're pleased to announce a new contribution of $50,000 to help. <laughs> to help establish a virtual uh, mentoring program between uh, Inroads alum and current interns. So I think that'd be a great program, and we are certainly pleased to do it. So please uh, accept this contribution for all the great work, Gadsby and, and Forrest, for all the great work uh, that Inroads does and specifically on behalf of MetLife Foundation. change the font size, will there be more zeros? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're always thinking ahead, Dennis. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We really do appreciate it. <laughs> uh, you know, the funny part about all of this is that uh, we've, met, we've met with these wonderful foundations. And let me just say this about what Maria meant about uh, a board that works hard. Uh, about two and a half years ago, we came in, Jeff Perry and Maria as the co-leaders of the national board, we talked about diversifying our revenues and our portfolio so we can do more. The board was not a 100% giving board. But thanks to the leadership, particularly in their own personal giving, as example, both Maria and Jeff led the way for two years in a row of 100% giving board. 
and that's difficult to find in these days. So I just want to let you know that that doesn't come at all. So I want to thank again for those who have really given from both UTC and also from MetLife and two years in a row and two years in a row and the giving from the, both of the foundations. This is outstanding. Helps to sustain, grow, and move on from that point. So what I'd like to do is welcome up Valerie Wells, our Chief Development Officer. You've seen her running around, but she really is our Chief Development Officer who has really led the way on what you see tonight as our second year as a Founders Day to lead us to the rest of the program. Thank you. Wow, can you imagine? Two checks in one night, I'm beside myself with glee. <laughs> um, but I have to admit that without the assistance of my able partner, who I'm gonna invite to join me, um, we could not have the kind of success that we've enjoyed over the past uh, 18 months since I've been the Chief Development Officer at Inroads. So Gatsby Brown, please, as campaign lead, join me. A Gatsby has, over the past two and a half years, worked with Inroads uh, prior to my arrival um, to put together the leadership campaign. And it has been a great run. And I gotta tell you, with the checks that we got today, I'm pretty sure we made that number. So I wanna say thanks to Forrest. <laughs> and, well, thanks to Forrest, thanks to you. Thanks to every one of you who are in this room. Thanks to all of the inroads uh, employees who helped uh, in this. This was an effort, a collective effort. And um, the success of the leadership campaign is about leaders and good leaders. And you uh, heard before about the 100% giving by the board that helped in making this happen. But I also want to uh, thank uh, the campaign committee which was composed of alumni, board members, high net worth individuals, and passionate supporters, and the leadership campaign co-chairs, Steve Davis, Forrest Harper, Jeffrey Perry, Maria Morris, and then we had committee members, Lou Nieto, Paula Sneed, Charles Story, does that name sound familiar to some of you? Uh, Baron Witherspoon, Ava Youngblood, and Daryl Williams. Now what's important about that group too is that 40% of the dollars raised for this $3 million campaign came from the giving and getting of that campaign committee. Can you give them a hand along with me? And in addition to that committee, of course, we would never have been able to accomplish our goal without the wonderful, generous spirit of our corporate partners like UTC um, MetLife and the foundations that have made this work very possible for us. We are particularly thankful for all of the alumni like Jeff Perry and like uh, Daryl Williams and like uh, Steve Davis who have all given of their time as well as their treasure to support this effort. And even after we've reached our goal, we're hoping that if what we've done today has moved you that you will continue to give to support the Inroads mission. Well, the campaign supporters are in the program booklet. And if you have already given, your name is in this booklet. But for those of you who haven't given yet, you have a chance for your name to go into the next booklet. And so we want to include you as tr contributors. Inroads is a really, really good steward of uh, its resources and also the supporters uh, that give to them. And to make sure that you do give inside of each of your booklets, you will find a remittance envelope. And that, we believe, will help you to expedite your gifts forward. So thanks so much. So we're here to celebrate. We should have all champagne glasses or something to, to do this. Uh, our founding uh, and officially announced the leadership campaign goal of $3 million, and we have exceeded it because... <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And we have exceeded it because of the generous contributions of MetLife and UTC. So thank you, thank you, thank you for celebrating along with us. Um, now, on behalf of all of the Inroads interns, all of the Inroads alumni, 
all of the campaign committee members and the staff, we would really like to express our heartfelt thanks um, to UTC as our underwriter for this evening and along with MetLife for all of their awesome support throughout these past few years. As Maria has already articulated, the financial times have really made things difficult for inroads, but we've weathered the storm and with closing the campaign and having reached our goal and exceeded it, we believe we are truly on the way. So let's keep that momentum going. Um, moreover, I think I wanna say that it's amazing that Frank Carr retired almost 50 years ago from the publishing industry. And ironically, we celebrate tonight mm -hmm. in one of the publishing titans in the country, McGraw-Hill. It is because of that legacy and relationship that transcended all of those years that we are able to come here. And we thank Terry Austin, the Chief Diversity Officer here at McGraw-Hill and her team for everything they've done to make tonight a success, their hospitality and their generosity. Please give them a warm round of applause. So we're gonna ask you tonight to spread the word that En-ROADS is on the move, is it not? <laughs> yes, it's on the move. And we need the alumni and everyone in this room, but particularly the alumni, to pay forward the opportunity that En-ROADS afforded you as interns. So don't forget that, I know you won't. Everyone can volunteer, be a good steward and advocate to place En-ROADS interns in your company. We need to be in your companies as well. So please keep that in mind and uh, be passionate about the people that did something for you. Can we do that? I see some. Oh, I see the heads nodding. This is great. This is great, Val. Okay, so now finally, we want you to mark your calendars for May 2014, when En-ROADS' third annual Founders Day will dawn in St. Louis. It will be on the road to our 45th anniversary in Chicago, where En-ROADS was founded. But we want you to join us next year in St. Louis, but immediately, we'd love to have you join us as dessert and coffee are being served down the hall. For those of you who've received awards, we would welcome the opportunity to take a few more photos with the photographer. And as true to my honor, I'm going to say to my friends with the car, we're out on time. Thank you, <laughs> safe travels, and good night. Good night.